What's up everybody, it's your boy Squadboy here and today we're here with a tutorial on how to get uh, crack Minecraft launchers and how to create your own crack uh, Minecraft server. Now, uh, I really got much to say so let's jump right into this. So first thing I want you to do is load up your energy, energy, <laughs> your internet browser. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what uh, version Windows you're on, you can be on 10, 8, or 7, it really doesn't matter. Um, so. Uh, just load up your internet browser and the first website you want to go to is mc-launchers.com the link is going to be in the description below um and so basically here you see a whole different bunch of launchers you see the original minecraft launcher the original Tekken launcher the original ATL launcher feed the beast and minecraft yeah minecraft store mode so if you want to get your store mode on for minecraft it doesn't matter now which one to do is no matter which one you go on um trying to do one I don't think I have I think I got all of these over so it doesn't matter I just click on one uh get launcher and so it's gonna send you here uh don't worry about all this stuff don't panic it really doesn't matter on what you really choose but down here you want to see a whole bunch of different things so if you have windows you can do the windows if you have Mac or Apple you can do those now there's three different tabs here for three different things so the compressors if you want it in your fo in a folder download it so you'll download that for either windows or apple or uncompressed where it just sends the run uh application by itself without the folder um i'd rather do just the uncompressed because you don't have to open the folder all that stuff it's easier that way if you do uncompressed so you'll click on windows or apple if you have apple you'll do that and down here is for the virus scan. If you don't trust it, you can do a virus scan. But trust me, guys, it's 100% safe. Um, yeah, so you'll just push download. Like I said, I already downloaded it. I guess I'll download again for you guys. So push download on whichever um, PC you're running it on. And it's going to send you to a page called AdFly. You, uh, you guys should know what AdFly is. So right here, as you can see, it's counting down. All you have to do is really when you get to zero, just push skip back, minimize this. Don't worry about all this stuff. You should at the bottom of the page see that it says running. Then you supposed to push open folder. Well, all you have to do is really push open if you have. Then do it um, compress. If you did uncompress, all you got to do is just push open. Okay, let me get this off my screen. Until um, it opens my download, so all you gotta do is just drag this to your desktop and launch it. Uh, like I said, I already have a download, so all I have to do is just do that. It works. By the way, this works for all the launchers that you saw on the page. It really doesn't matter. While we wait for this to launch, uh, let me just show you something else, guys. Go back up your internet back browser. All right, and the search box, you want to go back to MC Launchers. Yeah, just go to that. Like I said, guys, the links is going to be in the description. I'm um, description below. <laughs> Tripping the gate to the ah, see, <laughs> I'm messing up the gate. To, ah, I did it again. I'm messing up today, guys. So I'm really sleepy. I was up all night, uh, doing stuff. It sounded weird. Don't worry. <laughs> um, okay, let's wait for the page to load. Okay, so at the very top, uh, when you see these three bars, um. Uh, Wait, did pay? Uh, yeah, as you'll see when you load up the launcher, you're gonna see this icon over here. It's just telling you that the uh, launcher is loading. Uh, I think yeah, every launcher has its own icon. I know Feed the Beast have FTB on it. This has the little rocket ship, and the original Minecraft has. Um, well, I think it just says Minecraft on it, if I can remember. Oh, it loaded, but let me show you this real quick, guys. Let's full page this. Alright, so 
uh, what I want you to do guys if you go up here click on others uh, you're going to see two things. You're going to see the simple website and the server list. Now, simple website, guys, is if you don't understand this, all you got to do is click on simple website. It's going to send you basically to a page like this, but it's going to, instead of say get launcher, it's going to have just a one button. It's just going to say download. Uh, but you should be able to understand this, guys. But if you go to the server list, you're going to see a whole bunch of servers and links and stuff. It's going to basically, if you don't want to make your own server, you can click on these and find the server that you think you want to go on and just basically copy and paste it to your server. So let me just minimize this. And this is the launcher, guys. The feed, I mean, well, tech and launcher. Now I'm already logged in because I already logged in. But when you first load up, it's going to say, uh, do you want to install this? Just push yes. And it's going to ask you to create your account and push remember account. So it's going to do, you will pull up to a page like this, guys. Now if you click on the next tab, you're going to see a whole bunch of mod packs. Attack of the B Team, Blightfall, Headset, Tech It Legends, Vanilla, and well, you're not going to see this up there. I just put this on here because, you know, why not? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make your own launcher. So I think we're going to do a Vanilla because, you know, why not? So I'm going to. When you first do a mod pack, you're gonna have to install the mod pack, and it's gonna do all this stuff. Don't worry about it, guys. So just download everything you need. Make your own server. You wanna load your internet browser, and you wanna install this, and you wanna type in aternos.com. Oh, wait, no, it's not .com, it's .org. Uh, this link is also gonna be down in the description below. Alright, and you're gonna see this stuff. Now, it looks confusing, I know. Trust me, guys, it's not. So, uh, don't care what all this stuff's about. Now, guys, sometimes this uh, page can load a little bit slow. That's supposed to be because they constantly update this web page, but that's actually a good thing because most of the time they update they add new launchers. Now, you will click on login. Well, for you guys, if you've never been on this page before, you'll push sign up. So you'll log in to your original account. And it's going to send you back to the home page. But as you would notice, up here, you're actually logged into your account. And it's going to make color pop up and say, hello, wherever your username is. Of course, you are not logged in. Okay, that's per perfect. Now, yeah, you're going to see some stuff down here. The advertisement, don't worry, guys. This is 100% safe. You have to pay me on your information or nothing like that. I think uh, at least you sign up, you got to pay in your email, but this is just to verify, guys. There's not anything wrong with it. Now, you want to click down this arrow right here and go to my server. All right, right here is going to see a whole bunch of confusing looking stuff. Don't worry, guys. There's nothing to this, I promise. Now, the first thing you want to do, this is an old world I had. Um, it's, I don't know, I haven't been this world for a while. But what you would normally do, guys, is you would push, well, you would go down. And if you're on vanilla, you will choose the version of vanilla you're using. So I think the original, the version that's now on is 1.9 on the crack launcher. So you might want to do that. So it would be 1.9 for you guys. So if you want to use a mod pack, so like if you load up the Technic ATL or uh, Feed the Beast launcher and you want a mod pack server, you'll push on mod packs. You go to the uh, launcher, you download it, uh, Technic. Then you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, mod packs or servers that you might want. You got Feed the Beast, you got all those mod packs, you got ATL, you got all those, and others. This is Official Crafting Dead, uh, Pixel Spark, and Life in the Woods. Now, you can whitelist people if you only want certain people on your server, or you can opt people. Don't know why these nuts are on that opt, but hey. <laughs> but okay, um, 
yeah so you can't out people now if you want messages to pop up on your screen while you're in the game like in the uh, little text box you can put them right here and they will pop up um you can put a game where you will be in survival creative adventure it doesn't matter online mode you can either make a premium account which is if you buy the game or you can use crack uh, i'm using crackers right now uh whitelist you can't whitelist people and know and how many people you want the limit is 10 people guys now on with difficulty you can push peaceful easy normal hard uh pvp turn pp on pvp on for if you want to fight people command plus is basically uh if you want to use command that's what the ops are for if you want to use commands um flies if you got like a mod pack that has jet packs so you want to fly and stuff i would turn that on animals if you want animal smile turn that on monsters if you want monsters bar um that's pretty much all so when you got all that stuff set up and stuff uh you might want to push new world and it's going to have the stuff if you already have a world like if you download a map you'll put it right here then you will upload world or you just can generate a new world you can choose what you want flat large map biomes all that stuff or you can type in a seed doesn't matter then you're going to put start now when you put start you're going to get sent to a waiting key uh normally it's good sometimes yeah it's really rare if you get a bit number like this most of the time it would be like one minute or so i don't know why i got this number this time but basically when you have to keep if you do get a long number like this guy 16 minutes and one minute like anything like that when this button turns fully green you want to push yes until it gets all the way to the bottom now what that's going to do is or you can watch the video skip 20 minutes of it but what that's going to do is when you get to the bottom you'll see right here this message right here is going to say starting and when it says starting, uh, and it's going to say loaded, you're going to see numbers say like zero out of, if you go to max, it'll be like zero out of 10 people's on your servers, then it's going to have a time limit. So you got a limit of time so you get to your servers. Like if I, you already have the mod pad loaded up, so you'll type in the IP that it has right here, then you'll be on the server. So right here, guys, just go to vanilla. I'm going to show you that this, that this actually works for uh, online play and things like that. Yeah, I know guys I got a lot of stuff loaded on my computer. I know one, two, three, four. Um, those are for uh Xenoverse themes. I've got to like separate everything to a, a folder. By the way, guys, if you want to add me on Steam, my username is squadboy2443. Like always. Um and the rest of these just folders for mod packs and stuff. Alright, as you can see. Uh, if you if you load up the technical vanilla, I forgot to say this, guys. If you load up the technical vanilla, you're gonna be on version 1.8.9. But if you load up the original vanilla, which is oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, if you see, yeah, if you make a mistake and click and you see the sign not responding, don't worry, guys. It's still gonna work. It just I don't know why it says that. But uh, if you load up the original, it's gonna be good right here. If you load up the original vanilla, it's gonna say 1.9, or you can choose what version you want to run. So right here, guys, you can click on single player or multiplayer. Uh, I'm going multiplayer because so I can show you guys that this works. Uh, I thought I had stuff loaded in, but apparently not. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of a server guy. I right, just try this. Guildcraft. Dot. Or I think. It's gonna say login in. Yep, and I'm in. And this server is really laggy. Oh my god, guys. Yeah, this server is really laggy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is really laggy. Okay. Uh. They might got to update the server. Well, guys, that's been it for this tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy. And we will see you next time. Peace.